Hi, Mark, it's Fitness for Life PT. And first of all, I'm going to start this with saying congratulations to AJ and Vanessa on getting signed. I've known him since he was shorter than me, which has been like 75 years ago. Now he's going to do well. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy and a nicer family. So hats off to you, AJ. You worked hard for it. Good luck to you. Today I want to talk about trigger points. Trigger points are just a painful nodule in the muscle. But the thing that makes them special is that they can cause pain elsewhere from where the tender spot is. So today what I'd like to go over is an area of pain that a lot of people suffer from because they sit too long or just daily activities. But a lot of people complain of getting pain all along the top of their shoulder, even up the back of their neck, and down around the top of their shoulder blade. So this whole area here is a common area that people get sore and painful from. Also, headaches coming around the side of your head, up over the top of your head, and even behind your eye. These can all be caused from a trigger point. So a trigger point is going to, so, let me, let me back up a little bit. Trigger, you've got muscles that are basically like these rubber bands. You've got hundreds of thousands of fibers that stretch and come back together when a muscle shortens and stretches. What a trigger point is, is a small nodule in that, like what this one's going to show, so like this knot in this rubber band. Everything around it can move, but that area where the knot is. Trigger points are typically about the size of a pea, so they're a small area. Sometimes, because of that knot, you can have a little tight band that runs either way from it for a little bit of direction, and this is when you feel like a little rope underneath the muscle. But to be distinguished between a cramp, a cramp is when the whole muscle tightens and spasms up. A trigger point, like I said, is just a very small nodule and it's always going to be painful when pressed upon. And the other thing that distinguishes it, distinguishes it is that if you press on that knot, it can send pain somewhere else. And this is where people get confused because they try to treat where the pain's going when the actual pain is coming from a different location. So I'm going to demonstrate then four different points that are typically active when you get pain over the top of the shoulder, headaches, and show you how to treat these yourself. If you have further questions, contact us at fitnessforlifept.com.